Hi, welcome to the first revision clip on crime and punishment for year 11. I want to show you how to create a simple mind map that allows you to learn a thousand years of history to do with crime in Britain, hopefully without too much pain and suffering on your part. Alright, so if we start off medieval England, 1000 AD to 1500, first time period is the Saxon period and there were crimes against the person like assault, against property like arson and against authority like treason and those crimes still exist. So the Norman area from 1066 we have forest laws introduced by William. In the later medieval period after the Black Death people questioning the church you see the emergence of heresy laws you then get into the early modern period from 1500 to 1700 when Henry makes himself head of the church crimes like treason and heresy become more relevant because one way or another you're challenging the king you get more poverty poorer harvests and so you get people leaving villages vagabondage you do see the emergence of witchcraft of people being accused of being witches encouraged by James the first book demonology and by the Civil War and after the Civil War you see Oliver Cromwell's moral laws in his attempt to make England a godly country. Now after that you then start getting into the 18th and 19th century which is the 1700s to 1900s and at that point in history uh, trade in England and Britain is beginning to flourish so people are carrying large amounts of money so you get highway robbery. Also as you get the development of the industrial revolution machines you get more political crimes like joining trade unions and I suppose as Britain gets more of an empire and more goods are imported you get social crimes like smuggling. And then to the present well to this day we have old crimes in new forms such as terrorism and fraud. We have new crimes, uh, hate crimes, homophobic crimes etc, cyber crimes, driving offences for speeding etc. Um, and we have old crimes that were decriminalised because of more liberal attitudes in the 1960s. So for example homosexuality and abortion were both decriminalized in the 1960s. So there you've got on one sheet of paper a really good overview of crime over a thousand years and it's pretty simple to produce and what I would like you to do please is to go away and if you've got revision guides use revision guides if you've got information in your exercise books great otherwise you come and use the textbooks at lunch and I would like you to create a similar A3 mind map to do with law enforcement. Okay, thank you very much.